So it has been the journey to this unboxing has been a few days in the making. So these cards, the Dusk to Onyx, where's the box? The Dusk to Onyx Tarot were gifted to me and they were put in the mail, I want to say 20, uh, December 20th. They were put in the mail on December 20th. Um, this is the box that they come in, the Dust to Onyx, right? And it is a melanated tarot deck. So my longtime friend and client sent these to me as a gift after our reading. Um, in December. And it says Dusk to Onyx, a melanated tarot is a deck created by multimedia artist Courtney Alexander. The cards feature 78 mixed media collage paintings accented with metallic holographic foils featuring cultural myths, symbolism, history, and icons within the Black diaspora. So already it's like, Um, the guidebook features multiple keyword lists, numerological, elemental, and astrological, OMG, and full color images of the artwork with titles and art descriptions. Each card has been carefully researched with nearly 75 resources cited, providing a wealth of educational material. So there is actually a downloaded book that comes with this that I got that he sent me and then it comes with a little book, but it's like, this is, um, this deck is like a thesis almost. It's like this deck could almost be a course. There's so much to this deck. So the first thing is, this is the little book, right? And again, this is the beautiful box that it comes in, Dusk to Onyx. And so, you know, just normal. So my friend put these in the mail. I got home last week, was so excited to play with the cards. They were not in my mailbox. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? So he and I have been going back and forth, back and forth about where these cards were. So on New Year's Eve, I was at the post office. They couldn't find the cards. They couldn't find the cards. So... I wasn't tripping because my spirit was like, these cards will return to you. Like either these cards will return to you or the post office is going to have to refund him his money or something is going to happen. But I was not worried at all. So I thought they had thrown like the post office maybe threw my stuff away or I didn't know what happened. So anyway, I went to the post office today and she's looking, looking, looking and come to find out. So they were delivered on the 23rd. Right. And so today is what, January 3rd. So she's looking, there's nothing in the computer. There's nothing anywhere. We cannot believe what's going on with these cards. So I was like, okay, surely it's just not time for these cards to come home yet. So then she says, what's your address? I tell her my address. And what happened was um, either the company was one number off or my friend was one number off, but basically it's the apartment across the street. I never see anybody coming in and out of that apartment. I didn't even know if people were living in that apartment. So I got another book in the mail today called The Ultimate Guide to the Writer Wait to Row. So I was at my mailbox and I'm looking at this beautiful, I mean, this book is so cool. I had a handwritten note in my hand that I was going to take across the street and put it on the, you know, the mailbox. Because again, I didn't know if anybody lived there, if it was like, whatever. So I was going to put the note on the mailbox saying, hey, did you get something for Zoe Flowers? There's this redhead walking down the street. And I was like, I think she's going to go in that building. And so she goes to go in the building. I run across the street. I'm like, hey, did you get any mail for a Zoe Flowers? And she's like thinking. And then she's like, was it a box of tarot decks? So she opened it. I said, yes, I'm a tarot reader. She said, oh, my God, so am I. What? My cards that have been missing since December 
since December 23rd are right across the street at a tarot reader's house. So she's like, I don't read for other people. I just read for myself. She didn't open the box. She just opened it and she saw it. And she said, I'm just going to put it to the side. Either somebody's going to come to my house looking for it or a friend, whoever sent it to me is going to be like, Hey, did you get my package or whatever? And she's like, you do Tarot? I said, yeah, I do Tarot. I do Reiki. She was like, wait a minute. I do Reiki. So now we're like, okay. I said, when did you move here? She said, May. I had never seen her because, you know, I travel so much. And so she brings the deck out to me. And we're both like, this was just meant to happen. We were just meant to meet. And on top of the deck is a rock from her favorite place in London, where she's from, which hello, anybody who knows me knows I'm obsessed with London. I went there this summer. It's like my favorite place. What? So she says, I feel like I should give you this rock with the, with the cards. So the cards are already bringing me magic. So I have her stone from London. I have her, my deck now. And so we're gonna dig into this deck a little bit. But the first thing I wanna do, because it is new, I wanna sage it. I don't wanna sage the, um, I don't wanna sage the stone though. I wanna, I wanna, I feel like I wanna keep that London energy on the stone. And actually I'm not gonna sage, I'm going to do some Palo Santo on the cards. I'm not going to sage them. So yeah, the divine rebellion is in full effect. This is total. I got a reading at the end of the year. Well, actually on New Year's Eve. And um, the energy, one of the animals that's with me is the energy of the coyote. And the coyote is a trickster energy. And so I've just been laughing at all of this trickster energy that's been popping off lately, right? This just... Funny, funny trickster energy. So we are going to just sage the deck. So, I mean, look at this deck. I don't have enough smoke. I'm going to have to do it. Maybe off camera. But just so you all know, anytime you get anything new, you want to just always sage it, right? Because of the hands that maybe touched it the wherever it came from the makers of it whatever whatever so i will fully sage this when i get off of the line which all but let's just look at these look at let's just look at these cards for a minute let's just get into these cards okay so this is the young staff so i'm thinking this is probably the page of wands i mean I mean, what's happening? What's happening? This is, wow. This is Papa Staff. So I think this is the, the King of Wands. I mean, the Mama Staff. What is going, I mean, I can't, I cannot, now I see why my friend hasn't read with his yet. He's had them forever. I mean, I just need to get into these. And then on the, and it has a very interesting, um, glossy finish. Very, oh, it's just, it's just really nice. And then this is the 10 of wands. And... Um, the Lil Staff. I don't know. Maybe this is the page. The other one is the night. We'll see. But, I mean, wowzers. Wow. Nine of Gourds. Okay, so Gourds must be... I'm thinking Gourds are cups. Oh, my God. It's like a spider. What on earth? Look at this deck. Wow. Wow. I mean, this deck, Mama Gourd, this, this deck is, I 
Whoa. Wait, okay, this is Mama Gord. Oh, this is Papa Gord. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do a reading tonight, but I'm not reading with these cards. I gotta, I gotta get into these cards. I might be getting into these cards all weekend. I might be literally in the house playing with these cards all weekend. Um, this is the ace of staffs. So this is, this, you know what? In my reading, it was so funny. I asked for instructions. And the tarot reader said that the universe was laughing because they were like, she doesn't even like to follow instructions. Why is she asking for instructions? Which was hilarious. And you see, I'm just like guessing at what is what when all I have to do is open up the book. So clearly. Let's see. I could just see what. Okay. Oh, and there's faces. Okay, there's all types of stuff here in this deck. Ooh. Oh, they have blades. Okay, what are the blades? Ace of blades. Nine of coins. So I know that's pentacles. Okay, so gourds is definitely the cups. And then we have staffs. Blades must be swords. Blades must be swords and staffs are wands. It doesn't say in here, or at least I'm because I'm just going so fast that. And then it has faces. So this is the little book. I know I have the, the bigger version um, electronically so I can really dig in and see what, what is what it is and what's what. But this is um it's a pretty amazing. This is the book. Um, trying to get to the major arcana and see what the major arcana is giving. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this one I saw in my friends, my friend sent, showed me this. This is the first card out of the deck. So this would be the version of the magician, I guess. Yeah, Gary. Oh my gosh. The Conjurer. Oh my gosh. The Shaman. Queen Mother. So I guess this is supposed to be the Empress. Oh my gosh, I see Grace Jones. The chief, are you kidding me right now? Grace Jones, I'm not sure who those other folks are. And there's like um, this interesting, just the way it feels, like these are real foils. This is a pretty, the more, I mean, oh my gosh, look at this justice. So this is an amazing deck. Um, well done, Courtney Alexander. So I'm going to put the link in the chat. So that you all can see for yourself. Um, and I'm just going to sage this deck and pour me some wine and start playing. Uh, I was looking for something to do with my Friday night. Now I know <laughs> exactly what I'm going to be doing on my Friday night. And who knows, maybe I will try to read from this deck later on. All right. So see you soon.